Hey guys, want to know the secret weapon to instantly grab your attention of the audience? If you want to make your videos look pro, having cool dynamic text animations is essential. So today I've got three awesome text animations that will level up your motion graphics game. So the first one is all about mesh warping, an effect that lets you bend and distort text in a super fun way. Starting off, we create a new composition, any resolution you like, but I'm going with 1080 with 1080 at 30 frames per second. Next, head to the toolbar and grab your text tool. Type out your word and position it so it fits into a square shape. Now let's add some magic. Go to the effects and presets panel, search for mesh warp and drag it onto your text. Now here's the deal. By default, the mesh grid has way too many subdivisions and we don't need that. So in the effects control panel, set the rows to two and the columns to two. For the quality, I usually crank it up to 10 for smoother deformations. All right, time to animate. First, enable keyframe for the distortion mesh by clicking the stopwatch in the beginning of your timeline. Move forward in the time timeline and squash the text to one side by dragging the mesh points. Go further in time and push it to the other side. You can stretch, squeeze or curve it however you want. Keep going until you get something dynamic. And of course for the final keyframe, reset the distortion mesh to its default shape so it loops perfectly. Now we don't want this animation to feel robotic, so let's add easing. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 or right click go to keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. To wrap it up, add a cool text layer style to make the text pop even more. Whoa, 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 Janik, you almost forgot to tell them about Storyblocks. It's a super useful plugin for After Effects and Premiere. You can just type in whatever asset you need and there you go. Unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Storyblocks has everything you need in one place. From 4K and HD video, After Effects templates, music and sound effects, it's like an unlimited source of content and templates that gives you freedom to test experiment and create more effective videos. I use it all the time to test new effects for tutorials or enhance the story I'm telling you guys. You can choose a monthly or annual plan, no hidden costs or extra fees. Now this is important, the stock library is constantly being refreshed. They will upload new content that feels authentic and created by real artists, not by an AI. Everything you download is 100% royalty free, free licensed and ready to use. No need to worry about legal rights or copyright claims or anything like that. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash After Effects Basics or just click the link down below. Thank you Storyblocks so much for sponsoring this video. And now Janik will show you the second animation. Next up, let's go for something a little different, a color blur effect that gives your text a smooth, dreamy look. First things first, let's increase our color depth from 8-bit to 16-bit. Trust me, this makes a difference when working with gradients. You can do this by clicking the little bit depth box on the bottom of the project panel. Then again, let's create a new composition and type out a new text layer. This effect needs a background gradient, so create a new solid layer underneath the text. Head to effects and presets panel and search for ramp. Add it to the solid and in the effects control panel set it to radial gradient and position it so we can get a darker center and bright edges. Now disable the ramp layer for now and create a new adjustment layer. Go back to effects and presets, search for camera lens blur and apply it to the adjustment layer. In the blur map drop down select the ramp layer and make sure to check effects and mask so it actually works. Adjust the blur settings until you get a nice soft glow effect around the text. Next let's add a little spice. Create another adjustment layer, then go to effects and presets, search for solid composite and apply it. Set the color to black, then add a colorama effect and here's where you can customize your color palette. Want neon? Go for it. Want a cinematic vibe? Tweak the colors however you like. One last touch, if you want you can also add some noise to the blur by adding the noise alpha effect. This needs to be above every effect on the adjustment layer. Now go back to the ramp layer and animate it to grow and shrink over time, making the effect even more dynamic. And just like that, you've got an epic color blur animation that looks amazing. All right, last but not least, the dynamic rolling effect. This one gives your text a rolling motion, almost like a slot machine, and it looks super clean in titles. So let's start with the text layer again. But here's the trick. We need each letter on a separate layer, and instead of manually cutting them up, we're going to use a free plugin called Decompose Text. Just run it and 
and boom, each layer is now on its own. Now we also need to put each layer inside its own precomp. Slightly no quick shortcut for this. So we'll have to precompose each letter manually. Annoying but worth it. Next, I also want to change each precompose aspect ratio, really boxing in each letter. You can do this in the composition settings or use the comp trim tool. However, we've got an issue now. When you adjust the precompose aspect ratio, the letters remove out of place. So I'm going to use the original text layer as a reference and reposition everything. Once it's all aligned, you can delete the original text. Next, let's add some motion. Go to effects and presets panel, search for the rapid tile effect and apply it to the first letter precomp. In the effect settings, crank up, expand up and expand down. This makes sure we have some extra copies of the letters for the rolling effect. Now we need a masking setup. Grab a rectangle tool while no other layer is selected. Make a shape that's slightly bigger than your text and place it over everything. Select all your letter precomps, then use the track matte pick whip tool to link them to the matte shape. This ensures that only the letters within the rectangle are visible. No weird duplicates outside the box. Now it's just a matter of animating the position of each letter so they roll into view. Of course, easy ease all your animations so it flows naturally. And just like that, we have a rolling text effect that looks sleek and professional. And there you have it. Three awesome text animations that every motion designer should know. If you found this helpful, don't forget to check out the video here on my left for even more After Effects tips. Thanks for watching. See you next time.